And we're back. Time to destroy more lungfish octopus. You can even punch the buildings and they go. Oh, there's more down. baggage. Yep, but can't get it until I get the bag tag. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that is, so I'm just gonna wreck uh, everything and anything. You're about to say the S word, weren't you? Yes, I am working on that. Missiles. They are firing missiles at me, which is odd because they're tanks. But <laughs> ah, yeah. So. For the most part, the military isn't that damaging, but if you're letting them hit you, like, too much, you will actually start dying. So I, I've had uh, circumstances where, more or less, there's just so many things shooting at me. That's a problem, so I'm going to try and get through here faster than normal. Now, I think with the bigger buildings, you can actually fall down them. Well, not fall down them, climb up them. Yeah, that, that's kind of the reverse. <laughs> but... For all of the smaller ones, you can't even stand on top of them. You actually get, like, weirdly hung up on them. But as you progress through this area, the military uh, interference is going to get bigger. So I think we want to go this way. I can never remember how to get through. You I do suppose the... that's the tunnel they're referring to. Yeah. Well, there are multiple ways. Oh, rank up. Oh, that's where the laser thing is. Lasers. Okay, well... You can actually... No, you can't. There we go. Broke it. <laughs> Destroy the prison. Oh, we have to get up. Hey, there's the tag. But it's in the other corner. For some reason, my psychic blasts don't work on... What tag? Right oh. There. Yep. Okay. Also, there's a blimp. I don't know if the blimp is... For you. Yeah, I don't think it's destructible, though. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Well then, all things considered, I should probably save. Yep. I need to save way more often. Okay. So, I don't know if I have the tag for this bag or the previous bag, but, yep. Mm -hmm. The problem is the tags are not exactly the most descriptive. Technically, it has the picture of the bag on it, but if you're not really paying attention, it, it kind of gets left by the wayside. All right, I can move faster. Oh, no, I can't, I can't go into level, levitation ball mode. I guess, oh, you, oh, I missed a thing back here anyway. Well then, back we go, break this... Was it the top of that tower? Uh, over there on the left? On the right. Uh, it's uh, an extra health life thing. Is this the guy? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Aww. It's like, oh, yeah. But you were talking about the dialogue in the previous episode. You were talking about the, like, dialogue and the writing and whatever being super quick. Mm -hmm. He's impervious to bullets and love. <laughs> okay, so there's a figment, and unfortunately, uh, they didn't make it so you could kind of rotate around. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Well, I don't need any extra lives, so I can't float here either. I... The one thing I don't like is you do actually move slower than you normally would because you're in kind of monster walk mode, so you have to just kind of like chug your way through. And you can't go into levitation ball mode. He's just like, nope. Mm -hmm. Is Ford Crawler going to go away? Or is he just going to like hang out on the side over there? Not until you level up. That's frustrating. Like, Leave me alone. I know I need to go get powers and shit. But I, I, I'm not... It's not time yet. Even though I think actually if you pull out the bacon, Ford can even teleport you to his chambers to level up. Mm-hmm. That's not good in the middle of the level. Oh. 
Newscast. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gargalore. Recently surfaced information mission strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gargalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive car girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with Hyper electricity! Kidnappy children do not harm the brains. Popping pills in call girls? Yep. And this is for children? Debatably. <laughs> I mean, this is double fine. All of their games are like. made, and you think they're for kids, but in reality, they're not. They're made for adults, and you know it, and it's awesome. I mean, I know plenty of games for kids that have some sort of illusions. I mean, also take a look at Disney films and such, some of the puns and jokes in there. Or like the secret little things the animators leave behind. I wish the tanks would give you health pickups. Yeah, but those things are barely noticeable. Uh, I, I mean, this may ruin somebody's day, but... There is actually a scene where you can see uh, Tinkerbell does not have underwear on. But it's probably so fast you can't yeah, even see it unless it, you it's... pause the screen. Yeah, well, blame Reddit for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there's some uh, there's some stuff with Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Uh, I thought it was the preacher that was marrying uh, Eric to... Uh... Or something. Oh, was there something about him too? Mm-hmm. But what about Ariel? Uh, I think it's like one the scene where she's like on the beach. No, no. She when she's like on the uh, rocks singing. Mm-hmm. Or something. Oh, there's a. I got that nice. one. Nice. Yeah, and there's another thing over here. I, I'd forgotten about all the special little bits. They really do hide the figments well. It's kind of frustrating because, like, I don't... I'm not sure if I want to collect them all, but I feel like now that I've seen it, it must be done. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that's the last of the random floating figments. Actually, this level is going a lot faster than the last time I did this, too. But I think that's because... You of can pick up a tank! I don't know what button that is. F. It didn't say. Oh, but Do you not. see an F on this controller? <laughs> no. Like, I love it that they ported this to the PC because it this game staying on a dead console. Newscast. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer Navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolo. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-money monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof, not get caught stealing children. <laughs> Love the subliminal messaging. Mm-hmm. Oh, so Ariel on the rocks and Oh, I think it like showed her naked. Or something. You see the genius of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers. Then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? If you don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we're busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. So, if you weren't quite paying attention, their master grandmaster plan is to uh, hand out pamphlets encouraging the other, uh, I guess, members of the populace to join the resistance. All I know is that solicitations don't work. <laughs> you. Oh. It, it's interesting the number of phone calls you get, or mail. 
I, th like... I think the thing is, solicitations worked substantially... Oh, jeez. I'm bouncy. Yeah, I think solicitations worked better in an era without internet. Mm -hmm. Like, now that we have the... Right, I'm gonna have to backtrack all the way for the purse. Oh well. Look at this bag tag and let's get over here. Oh. Uh, is there a thing that I have to jump to with that crane, or is that just a miscellaneous crane? No, yeah, just a crane by the looks of it. Okay. I mean, oh, hey, there's the bag that goes with the bag tag. Whee! <laughs> At least they, uh, you know, went out of their way to change the colors on all the bags, so it's not just the same, like, three or four bags in every single mind. So you get, like, at least some level of uniqueness. I really do need... Uh, to grind out some arrowheads, because, uh, looks like we need some more. Now, what do you need the arrowheads for? Uh, the cobweb duster, the psychic magnet, and, like, two other things. Mm. Plus, uh, all of the cards that I've collected over the course of the game are... You know, you, you can't turn them into anything without the psychic cores. There, get some health back. Do figments pop up back if you redo the level or not? Uh, if you've already gotten them before, no, they will not. That's good. So, pretty much to get to level 100 in this game, you actually do have to get everything available. Kind of for better or for worse. It's not bad, but, like, some of these figments are really annoying. Come on. Also, the camera and the controls here get kind of frustrating when climbing the buildings. Uh, I think that's it for here. Hmm, what's that? Uh, I think the trophy increases my max life. Or something. I forget. Oh, ammo up. Right, the, uh, the golden Rasputin, like, helmet face. Hmm. Is life up. Come on. Ouch. I guess it's time to take out the navy a little bit. Luckily, the laser ones. Oh, right. Water. I can't. Yeah. That sucks. I forgot about that. I, I figured water wouldn't be that big of a problem since I'm gigantic. Or... And you are going around the shallows without much trouble, but this is deeper water, apparently. Yeah, I guess. Disappointing, but tolerable. Also, sometimes you'll just randomly fall off the building, and sometimes they'll shoot you off the building. Yeah, they're seekers by the looks of it. Yes. Luckily, you can generally shield, but you can't while you're on the building, for some mysterious reason. No, I don't think... Come on, got it, okay. Was there anything else at the top of that one? No, it doesn't look like it. And that's... That is a bag tag for a completely different bag. Mm-hmm. Can I shoot it yet? No. Can I shoot it yet now? Yes. Dead. I think there's also, like, a limited amount of time that you can shield for. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It counts down on the badge. But it lasts a long time, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, uh... And more or less, I just have to terrorize this section of the city. And then we can proceed forwards. I I guess the one problem is the terrorizing part does drag on a little bit, and it's kind of monotonous. Because there's not a whole lot of variety here. It's just building, building, building. More building. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're wrecking a city. Don't get sleepy on me. Mm-hmm. You can't imagine having buildings like that, though. Do you see how some of them overhang? Well, Structurally, that wouldn't be sound. I mean, I, uh, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here to kind of clean out the bad architecture so they can rebuild and uh, not be the laughing stock of the... I think I just took out, like, four tanks at once. But So they won't be the laughing stock of the architects... Yeah, but the buildings you can destroy are the sound ones. The ones you can't are the ones with the bad overhangs. Well, I don't know. 
I guess it would just be kind of too much work if you could break all these. Mm hmm Also, it would prevent you from getting some of those figments. Okay, I thought I was going to overshoot for a second. It is kind of hard navigating these buildings. It's not so bad. Okay, I think this is the last one. Except for that section over there. Blah. Also, a couple of these things on the rail. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a train there that I just wrecked. <laughs> oh! Lots of trains. Goodbye, lungfish people. I'm a monster. <laughs> oh, there's the purse tag. I'll probably go back and get that purse off the suitcase camera. tag. Oh. How many bags are there? How big is the city? I'm assuming with the lungfish there are plenty of bags. Great. Why are you going back? I missed stuff. There's a whole section of city. Come on. Uh, I guess there's no going back this way. Yep. So, we will continue our slow... Come on. Our slow grind forward. <laughs> we will see you guys. Oh. Surprise newscast. We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way. I hate Gogalore. I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. <laughs> Airplanes. So rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks. And I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Cochamara Channel, to get to Cochamara Island, and destroy Cochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogalore, we, uh... We just think it best to do... Uh, yeah. We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gargalore. Yes, that, and for freedom. <laughs> well, we will... Nope, we don't... No more slow grinding. What am I doing? Let's get out of here. Okay, so we will go uh, kidnap small children on the next episode of WanderBots. We will see you guys then. Nah. Small children.